Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So in the reverse, this is an energy of someone who is freeing themselves from mental imprisonment. This is someone who's taking back their power. This is someone who is, um, you know, coming out of a state of helplessness. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Magician, Mercury energy, the Seven of Wands, Fire energy, and the King of Pentacles earth energy so yeah this person is uh really wanting to take control of the situation um this is someone who is trying to manifest their desired outcome and they are standing their ground in a situation here with the king of pentacles there's a mature energy about this this is someone who's recognizing the value that they bring to a situation and they're not accepting less than what they have to offer you know this is someone who is really taking back their power so let's clarify these cards uh gemini Okay, so we have the Fool, and this is Aquarius energy. So, yeah, there's an energy here of wanting a new beginning. This is someone who is um, wanting to try something different. So this person could be acting in a new way, and it looks like there's a newfound confidence here. Uh, certain baggage is being relieved here. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth energy, the Six of Cups in the reverse, Water energy, and the Four of Wands, Fire energy. So it's like there's someone here from your past who made you feel small, who um, treated you like you were less than. It could have had a very negative effect on your self-esteem, your self-confidence and your self-worth. And you're freeing yourself from that mindset. You may have distanced yourself from this person for a significant amount of time and them coming back towards you just to find that you're not who you used to be. Uh, they can't treat you the way they used to. It's like you're standing your ground, you know, with that energy of the Seven of Wands. There's an energy of putting up boundaries. Um, you know, you're you're wanting the Four of Wands. It's this or nothing. There's that very serious energy here, taking yourself seriously, respecting yourself, showing it. It's showing that you do respect yourself. You know, this is confident energy. So this person is coming back to find that you're not where they left you. You know, you've really elevated. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out. An oracle card for you, um, Gemini. Okay, we have hold your vision fixed moon okay so there's definitely an energy of standing firm in your boundaries okay we have let go of control issues Allow the situation to unfold naturally. OK, 
Okay, so we have always joyful. Write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, uh, Gemini. Okay, we have surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and, per and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body and spirit. There's a heavy energy of prioritizing yourself, your well-being, you know, not overextending yourself at the expense of yourself. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.